Hey folks, I'm Jeff Hirsch, and in today's short video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy technique for fixing fall foliage in only two clicks. Let's jump right in. This technique takes advantage of the new color variance slider that Adobe has added to the point color function in Lightroom Classic 15 released just a week ago. It'll also make for a good example to review how the point color tool actually works. Now, for the longest time, we've had tools in Lightroom that allow us to target a range of colors and make changes to the hue, saturation, or luminance, that is to say brightness, of those colored ranges. We've had this color mixer tool, and we have these eight colored ranges, red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple, and magenta. And for each of these colored ranges, we can shift the hue, the saturation, or the luminance of each of those eight ranges. But the problem with these colored ranges is they're a little broad, and they're not necessarily as targeted or precise as we would like them to be. For example, the red slider affects anything that falls between magenta and orange. And that's a pretty wide range of things. So a few years ago, Adobe gave us a newer tool for shifting these kinds of colors, and that's the point color tool. And the point color tool allows us to make much more precise targeted changes to narrower ranges of color. And instead of having a range slider that grabs the entire range of reds, you have an eyedropper now. And you can pick up the eyedropper, and let's say we go pick this golden color out of our picture. This is a much narrower range than just targeting the yellows or the oranges using the color mixer. In fact, I can visualize the range and show you exactly the range of colors that's affected by this eyedropper by clicking this visualize range checkbox right here. And that's going to turn the rest of the picture monochromatic and let us see just exactly the range of colors that's being affected. And we even have this range slider here. And if I turn it down, you can see that the range of colors that are going to be affected by whatever changes I make gets smaller or larger depending on the value of that range slider. If I make it very large, it's going to cover a wider range of colors. If I make it very small, it's going to be targeted to a much smaller, narrower range. By default, it's right in the middle at 50%. If I grab the hue slider and drag it left or right, it's going to take the hue of the color range that I have selected and shift it to the left in this colored box or to the right. So if I go to the left, it's going to pull all of those golden colors more towards the red. And if I shift it to the right, it's going to go more towards the yellow green. And in fact, you can see a before and after in the two boxes below the colored boxes above. So the hue slider is going to move the output left or right in this box. The saturation slider is going to move it up or down to make it more or less saturated. And then the luminance slider will move the values in the little stripe on the right where we can make this color brighter or darker. So whatever color range I've chosen with the eyedropper and the range slider, I have these three sliders that will allow me to shift the hue, the saturation, and the luminance of that range of colors. And here's where the trick comes in for fixing fall foliage. Adobe has added a brand new variance, color variance slider to the point color adjustment. So not only can we change the hue, saturation, and luminance of our selected range of gold colors here, but we now have this color variance slider. And what the color variance slider allows us to do is to make colors more or less similar to each other. By turning up the amount of color variance, the colors are going to be more different from each other. And by turning it down, the colors are going to be more similar to each other. They're going to have less variance. So what's happening here is I've chosen this golden color. And if I pull the variance slider to the left, what I'm telling Lightroom to do is to take all of the surrounding colors, the reds and oranges and peaches and pale yellows, and to pull them more towards that golden color. So as I turn this variance down, 
all of the other colors in the picture start to look more and more like that gold color that I have selected to begin with. I'll reset that by double clicking on it. If I turn the variance slider up, I'm telling Lightroom that I want these gold and yellows to have more color variance or color difference or color contrast, if that makes more sense to you. And what that's going to do is that's going to take this golden color and it's going to split it out so that there's more reds and oranges and peaches and yellows. So as I turn this variant slider up, watch what it does to my fall colors. It brings in so much more color variance or color contrast or color difference in my photo. You know, when I first started, they were all kind of in the orange yellow range. But as I turn this up, we pull in more of the reds and the greens. Obviously, if I go too far, if I take this all the way up to 100, it's going to look a little fake. Those reds just get a little bit too intense. Same if I go all the way down to negative 100. We've pulled everything to be the same color. Although if you've shot aspens before in peak season, they pretty much are the same color. So this is how, with a simple couple of clicks, you can make an improvement to your fall, fall colors. So I'm gonna pick up the eyedropper here and I'm gonna click once right here on that golden color. And then I'm gonna grab the color variant slider and I'm gonna turn it up to I don't know, 50 or 60 points here. And that gives me some lovely color variants across this picture. Here's before and here's after. And obviously if that's too strong, I can dial it back a little bit and make it a little bit more subtle. And if you really wanna make it subtle, you can grab the range slider and you can limit the range of gold hues that's going to get shifted by that color variance by turning that down. That will make it apply to fewer colors in the image or you can turn it up and have that variance increase affect more colors within your image. That's up to you. So that's how we can get much better fall foliage pictures with just two clicks. One to set the point of color that you want and another to shift the color variance up or down. For more Lightroom and Photoshop videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and go ahead and click the bell icon to get notified anytime I post a new video. And if you aren't already on my mailing list, head over to jeffhirsch.com and sign up for the mailing list and you'll get updates on my classes and workshops and trips, along with bonus tutorial videos and articles for Photoshop and Lightroom. I promise not to spam your inbox and I will never ever sell your address to a third party. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.